Hey, what's up, guys? This uh, this video is completely unprepared, but uh, I just heard that the main owner of the channel, Talking Kitty Cat, or what used to be known as uh, Sylvester the Talking Cat, um, the guy's name was Steve Cash, and uh, he uh, he apparently died recently. Um, this dude died two days ago from now, um, today, this being recorded on the 18th. He died on the 16th. Um, apparently, he uh, took his own life. And uh, that sucks. Um, not just because I was a big fan of his channel, but he struggled from uh, bipolar uh, depression. Um, the fact of the matter is that we lost um, a big part of a lot of people's lives. He was a content creator, a damn good one, and he was a favorite among a lot of the uh, the old school YouTubers, uh, the people who watched his channel. I read in the comments that he was a big part of uh, people's childhood. Um, I can imagine what it probably feels like to be one of the people who grew up on his videos and then this happened all of a sudden. And I saw his page uh, flooded with comments, um, really supportive, really cool. Like. After his passing, they acknowledged what happened, and they were saying rest in peace, and this, this, and that, and that's awesome. The internet is notorious for trolls and horrible ass people, but to be honest with you, I don't see a lot of them. There's a few, but I've met some awesome ass people online. And for people like me who have a problem going out and meeting people, that's a good thing, because not all of us have the social skill cranked up all the way to 21. You know what I mean? If you play D&D, you know what I mean. It's a D&D reference. Uh, the main owner of the channel, Sylvester the Talking Cat, um, he uh, recently took his life. Apparently it was a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Uh, from what I got so far, don't quote me on the facts. Check out the news channels. They, they know more than I do. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not good at keeping up with all the facts and stuff. Oh, all I can do is make fun of things and misconstrue things. And this is not one of the things I'm going to make fun of at all. This is messed up. And uh, if you have any thoughts of doing things like this, or if you're struggling with such a thing like this, it's very serious. Please get help. For real. Um, I've had... Um, I've had my own problems with depression before and I've gotten help here and there if you got a problem with uh, depression or any kind of self-destructive mentality anything like that uh, I'm not gonna list them here because I want to get in trouble y'all know how YouTube is but um, if you have anything like that seriously get some help it's it's not worth drowning in notion of your own self-destruction. I, I know this firsthand. I've seen people do it firsthand. It's after a while it just eats away at you. And the fact of the matter is that we lose people that we put up on this platform as our heroes, our main entertainers, the, uh, the people that we grow up on, the people that we are inspired by, they succumb to things like this. And then me being just who I am, you know, and then y'all at home being just who you are, that's that's all it comes down to. We are just human. And it can affect any one of us. If it can affect the people who we put on a higher pedestal, then what makes us think that it can't affect all of us? We're all human. We, we all have problems. We all have issues, and God knows I have issues. But yeah, honestly, I, I can't believe this happened. Um, rest in peace, man. You were a big inspiration to me. Um, I've, I've watched every one of this guy's videos. <laughs> I followed his series. I really did. I didn't know what was going on with the last episode uh, up to about, like, what is it? It's 18th now. Three months ago, he uploaded a video. Uh, Sylvester goes to court, something like that. And he mentioned something about his bipolar disorder. Um, struggling with it. And uh, I didn't think too much of it but you know how it goes when someone uh makes a cry for help you don't know what it is until it's too late in his situation he did have a lot of people come to him and try to give him support and that's awesome uh his fan base is awesome and uh everyone that's shown his family some love right now is awesome and we can only hope that uh there's more of that out there on youtube 
but for real, uh, rest in peace, man. You were a good dude.